Michelle Obama is pissed off after her official White House portrait bombed in reviews. So, Michelle and her handlers cooked up a sick scheme involving a two-year-old girl to make sure her portrait got the praise and adoration that the former first lady desperately wants. You'll be shaking your head at just how far Michelle went to get what she thinks she deserves. Last month, the Obamas unveiled their official White House portraits and immediately people were aghast. The unconventional portraits got horrible reviews, and this left Michelle Obama really pissed off. As Daily Mail reported, while President Obama's striking portrait by Ken and Wiley garnered audible gasps of awe from the audience, Michelle's portrait was not as warmly welcomed. But, that's an understatement. Social media users were ruthless in their comments, making sure Michelle knew just how horrible it looks. Amy Sherrill should have met Michelle Obama before making that portrait, one social media user wrote, according to Daily Mail, which added, others went so far as to criticize the artist's skill, comparing the work to a kid's art project. OK legit that Michelle Obama portrait looks like a sketch by a sixth grader, Twitter user Ashley Rear wrote. The Obamas were seeing the portraits for the first time on February 12, so the crowd at the Smithsonian Gallery got to see their reactions in real time. Bear I couldn't hide his disdain for Michelle's painting. He glanced at it with a shocked look and quickly looked away. Tim Young tweeted, watch, you can actually see Barack Obama do a yikes, that's awful double take looking at Michelle Obama's portrait, then look back at his cool one. Well, Michelle was so upset, she channeled her rage into a sick scheme when a golden opportunity presented itself. Enter little Parker Curry, who's just two years old, and her very savvy mother, it just so happened that a picture was snapped of little Parker at the museum, looking at Michelle's portrait, of course. What's more, the two-year-old allegedly knows it's Michelle, which is some feat since the Obamas would have vacated the White House when the toddler was a mere infant, not to mention that the portrait looks nothing like the former first lady. Another strange coincidence is that Michelle specifically voiced her desire to have her portrait inspire young black girls. As The Telegraph reported on February 12, Mrs. Obama said she hopes her portrait will serve as an inspiration to young black women. She told the audience at the unveiling, I'm thinking about the young people, particularly girls and girls of color who in years ahead will come to this place and they will look up and see an image of someone who looks like them, I know the kind of impact that will have on their lives because I was one of those girls. So, when this pic of the two-year-old black girl went viral, it immediately fulfilled Michelle's wishes for her portrait and put the painting back into the spotlight in a positive light. Michelle's handlers then contacted Parker's mom, and the next thing we know, Michelle is dancing with Parker. And, if you think this all just happened by chance, we have some oceanfront property in Arizona to sell you, right next to some swampland occupied by none other than the Obamas themselves. Now, we hate to be cynical, but this entire situation seems a bit contrived. Overnight, Michelle's portrait is rehabilitated, and the liberal media goes gaga over how the former first lady is inspiring young black girls. But, Parker is two years old, and even a really smart two-year-old doesn't grasp who Michelle is. In fact, Parker calls her a queen, which might be what her mother told her Michelle was, or perhaps the portrait just looks like a fairy queen from her storybooks. 
But, here's the kicker. Parker's blogger mom has had to hire a publicist, which was revealed in the Washington Post article titled, She Took Her Daughter to See Michelle Obama's Portrait. Now they need a publicist. So, it looks like mommy wants to cash in on her daughter's newfound fame, according to the Post. Unsurprisingly, she's booking her baby for interviews. Below is a clip from when Parker and her mom appeared on CNN with that loser Don Lemon. You can be the judge of what is going on here, while Curry and her fiancé never planned to have Parker and her one-year-old sister, Ava, in any spotlight of any kind, the fact remains that the kids are cute. Parker is bubbly, being trumpeted online as an early embodiment of black girl magic. So yes, the kid has a publicist now, Abba Kwawu, a woman of color and mom of two whom Curry contacted after being overwhelmed by the unbelievable amount of attention, reports the Washington Post. Season politicos will tell you that this entire scheme was hatched by Michelle's astute handlers to overcome the negative press that the portrait was getting. They couldn't change the portrait, but they could change how gullible Americans saw the portrait, and that is exactly what happened. For those of us who know who the Obamas really are, there will never be anything to rehabilitate them in our minds. And that horrible portrait of Michelle will continue to reflect the horrible eight years that she and Barack were in the White House. PR stunts might work on some Americans, but for those of us who suffered at their hands, not even dancing with cute two-year-olds will change how the Obamas almost transformed America into a socialistic nightmare.